Are you ready? location at Morgan State in B. Moore, Baltimore, and we're bringing you the happenings of the last home game. We're bringing you there right here on A2HN Sports. Here's the pregame show, okay? We got a few people over here in the corner getting ready for the show to happen, and we got some tailgating going on. We're going to talk to a few people and see what their thoughts are for tonight. Here today, live. Check you later. I'm a part of the National Society of Collegiate Scholars, and we're volunteering for the game today, so we're here to support the team. You just gotta go out and support them. I mean, if nobody's here, I mean, they're not gonna want to play as hard. And who are you rooting for today? Are you ready? Morgan State is coming off of a tough loss against Delaware State Hornets, while Bethune-Cookman is coming off of a victory against North Carolina Central Eagles. Morgan State is helping for, hoping for a win in their less than stellar season. BCU is hoping for their second championship in three years. Stay with me and we'll see how this battle on the gridiron plays out together. Morgan will win by one point. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the uh, brochure. It has all of the members of the football team and um, has just a little bit about the uh, opposing team as well. Only five dollars, all right, so everybody come on out and get your programs. Yep, game day program. It's limited, so get your cups. You can see the football team on the field warming up. You hear the live music in the background, and pretty soon this stadium's going to be filled with fans hoping the Morgan State can break their losing streak. today. Morgan State. When I pretend everything is what I want it to be, I look exactly like what you had always wanted to see. When I pretend, forget about the criminal I am, still in second after second. BCU, on the other hand, ha is up and running, and they're at 5-0. Oh, 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 oh. We don't even have to try. It's always a good The question of the day is, what is the top selling food at the concession stand? Separation, got himself a little separation from the defender on that play. 
but uh, the, the, the pass was a little bit over his outside shoulder. He had to do a little twist and turn so he couldn't really make a good dive for him. Yes. So we're representing the seniors today, special ceremony for them. Who you guys vote for? Number 48, Irvin. All right. Dallas. Okay, Irvin. Everybody here for Irvin. to the softball games, right? They do. They come and support us a lot. Third down and 14 for the Wildcats. Turning from Morgan State, number 33, Brian Mann. Are you looking forward to the battle of the bands? I am looking forward because I know that our band will blow them out. This is Kelvin Nance live with A2HN. It was just breaking news that Coach Jenkins from Bethune-Cookman has been ejected from the game. Just before halftime, there was a penalty, and they're going to give us a little bit more detail about that penalty. <laughs> the penalty came occurring on a first down. The first down play was a live ball foul, which was a uh, holding penalty, but after the play ended, there was a dead ball penalty, which was unsportsmanlike. Okay, now let me ask you to elaborate. When you say things got blown out of proportion, could you explain that to me? Well, I, I questioned a call that, that, that a ref called, and uh, and uh, he ejected one of our players, which was he was rightfully, rightfully so. And then I, I asked him, how could he see one and not see the other? So uh, he got a little bothered by the way I asked him, and he threw a flag, and I stayed at him. He threw a second flag, which which that's his job, and you know we went from there. So I think they didn't want to take the butt whip it, and they ejected our coach. So I thought it was extremely unfair. <laughs> I heard that I've never seen that in all of my years of going to a game, a coach being ejected like that. It was, it was amazing, really. Uh, for me as president, you know, I try and bring back as many of those legacies as possible and introduce them to our current students and let those students see the fact that, yes, these individuals came through Morgan and they left their athletic legacies here. But wow, when you look at their accomplishments beyond athletics, it is because of the great academic foundation that they acquired here at this institution. Today I'm looking for a very solid effort, and I'm looking for a win. Uh, and so let's go Bears. Last thing, give me a prediction. Score, count me them out. Uh, let's say uh, you know, Morgan uh, 31, Bethune-Cookman 0. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I like a lot of confidence. How do you feel about your, uh, your, uh, this game right here today? I feel I did um, mediocre. I don't feel too good about it. 
Although we've lost a lot of close games, we know that when you come to play Morgan, you have to play to beat us. This is Kevin Williams with A2HN Sports, and today has been outstanding. We've had a game like no other, although Morgan State did not win, but the band did win, as you can see by the group that just left here. They took it to the next level. We can't wait to the next game. I'm Kevin Williams, out with A2HN Sports.